Somehow, against all odds, the two mad situation has gotten stranger. And I don't know why, but one of the biggest players in this is Ghetto Smosh. But you checked the weed barrel, right? They took that shit too! Somehow, Two Man's career being ended by something as stupid as Ghetto Smosh seems oddly fitting. Two Man's situation has gotten a lot worse really fast. It's not just him making off-color jokes anymore. There's a very good chance that he committed an actual crime. Despite this, he's still on Twitter acting like we're canceling him. Aw oh man, here comes the cancel mobile, here to silence my freedom of speech, of course. You see, after Too Mad made the horrendous tweet saying that a murder victim was his girlfriend, he and Ghetto Smosh started feuding. And as stupid as this may sound, Ghetto Smosh went for the jugular. On their Twitter, Ghetto Smosh shared a video of Too Mad allegedly confessing to a sex crime. But, um... I'm literally in Oregon, fucking Washington, Oregon. Dab, okay, so apology. All right, so I can't take the damage away that I've done, but uh, I'll, I'll try my best, okay? Okay, I, I at least want to take responsibility for what the fuck I did, you know? You know, the, the, like the way I treated you and like viewed you. Unfortunately, that's all of the video we have so far. But you really gotta appreciate the vagueness in which he talks, as if he knows that this recording might someday be in a courtroom. Yeah, so I'm really sorry about that uh, thing that I did to you. The thing I did. Um, I'm really sorry about the thing that I did. You know, the, th the thing. And then also, of course, this is just generally a terrible apology. I'm just so sorry. I mean, not sorry enough to stop driving through Washington, Oregon to give you a proper apology video, but you know, I'm, I'm still really sorry. This whole situation has gotten extremely serious. Ghetto Smosh has gotten a cease and desist letter from Too Mad. Not only do they have to stop talking about Too Mad, but they have to halt all online activity. Now, one question that you might be asking yourself is, why is this coming out now? Isn't it kind of suspicious that these allegations came so quickly after his earlier controversy? And you're not an idiot for asking that question, but generally speaking, this is how these things go down. You see, victims of powerful people are just that. They're victims of powerful people. They oftentimes don't want to come forward because they feel like they're in a disadvantaged spot. Obviously, a celebrity, including an online celebrity, has a lot more social leverage than they do. And they feel like no one's going to believe them because people are far more likely to make things up about celebrities than they are average people. And of course, parasocial relationships cause people to be biased towards the person person they actually know of. But when these people of power go through a large controversy, the victims oftentimes feel like it's okay and safe for them to come out because they finally have the built-in backing they never had before. I do have to mention that nothing has been confirmed yet, and regardless of my opinions, preemptive justice is generally pretty bad, so don't send a pipe bomb to Tumat's house or whatever. Anyways, the video is basically over at this point, and this is a pretty serious topic, so it kind of feels wrong to ask you to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell, but I kind of just did. I'd like to thank you for watching. I have no idea why you chose to. I especially have no idea why you chose to watch this far in the video, but thank you for anyway.